Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning on this Thursday. I'm Cody Butler. Meteorologist Stefano DiPietro has today's forecast. How's it looking out there? It is going to be a very wet day that's ahead of us. Definitely a rainfall that we could use as this soaking rain continues right through this afternoon. You can actually see a few heavier pockets that will end up mixing in. So we have the umbrella handy all day today. Overnight tonight, as colder air starts to come back in, remember we're talking about that changeover to some wet snow, mostly elevation dependent. So, in the northern tier and those higher elevations into the morning commute tomorrow, we will get to see some accumulating snowfall. Now, this is mainly going to be in those elevations and mostly on grassy areas. So, here's what we can expect periods of rain today. And some of those come down a little heavy. Then it's colder tonight and tomorrow morning. That's when we start to see some of that wet snow, mostly to the north and elevation dependent. Totals will be around a coating to about an inch or an isolated two inches, Cody. Stefano, thank you. Tension is rising between departments of Luzerne County government as Election Day closes in. During public comment at Wednesday's Board of Elections meeting, County Councilman Stephen Urban and Walter Griffith brought up concerns with possible voter disenfranchisement at the hands of the borough. Urban asked why ballots are not being processed in a 48-hour window as required by law. While both councilmen blame the Kurt, uh, borough on outstanding ballots, Councilwoman Sheila Sedman blames a postal service slowdown. Another issue brought up in the meeting was why campaign finance reports are not listed on the county's website. There is an election inquiry meeting today. Today, President Trump's daughter Ivanka will be campaigning on his behalf in Wayne County. Ivanka will travel to Waymar to headline a Make America Great Again event. A campaign release says she plans to highlight how President Trump's policies have positively impacted Pennsylvanians. For more news and weather, head to PAHomepage.com.